Okay, so the lowest common denominator is the lowest common multiple. What's a multiple? So, for example, if we have, uh, if I ask you to list multiples of 6 and 8, what are multiples of 6? Six? 6, yep. 12, what else? 18, and then 24. What are we doing each time? What's happening every time? Yes? We're increasing by 6, right? Every time you're adding another 6. We're basically skip counting by 6. Or 6 times 1 is 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, and so on. There's two ways you can do this. You can increase by 6 every time, or you can go back to the original question and multiply it by numbers that increase by 1. So what are the multiples of 8? 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. What we were looking for here is the lowest common denominator. Well, we're listing the multiples so we can figure out the lowest common multiple that they have in common, right? The lowest common multiple would be what? 24. Good. Okay, so we know the lowest common multiple is 24. So if my two fractions are... Let's do 1 sixth and 1 eighth. We just found that the lowest common multiple is 24. What do I multiply 6 by to get 24? What do we have to multiply by? So what do we need to do in the numerator? Multiply by 4. And what do we multiply 8 by to get 24? Yes? Good. 3. Okay, so we're going to rewrite both of these with their equivalent fraction. Okay, so now we are going to write an equivalent fraction. 1 sixth is equal to 4 out of, and 1 eighth is equal to 3 out of 24. This makes it easier now to compare these two fractions. If I ask you what's greater, 1 sixth or 1 eighth, it might be a little difficult for you to see visually because the denominators are different, but when you look at it like this, is it now easy to figure out which one's greater than? Yes. So if 1 over 6 is greater than or less than 1 over 8? Yes. Good. Okay. Made with DoodleCast Pro.